Have you ever wanted to build your own dynamic web application but didn't know where to start? Well, if you're like me, it's been a struggle. But don't worry. With my Remix tutorials, you'll get the inside scoop on all the tips and tricks you need to create that awesome dynamic web application from scratch. Hi everyone, I'm Stanley, an experienced software engineer who has spent many years mastering the craft of developing and creating outstanding web applications. My time as a developer has been filled with one roadblock after another, but that's why I'm here today, to make sure no one else out there has to go through what I went through. Thousands of hours have gone into perfecting these tutorials so that you can take advantage of my experience. So if you're ready to level up your coding abilities, let's dive into our Remix Tutorials 2023 for creating a dynamic web application from scratch. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the basics of Remix, including folder structure and file-based routing, actions, and loaders. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, you'll learn everything you need to know to get started with Remix. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. And don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know what you think of Remix. First of all, we will begin by running the development services. You do that by running npm run dev. And you press on control and click on the link to open it in your browser. The root.ts file has some basic configurations for your web app, such as the live reload, which is used in the development process for reloading whenever you make a change to your project files. So, your route files can be found in the routes folder. Let's just make a change in the underscore index file to see. This is the changes we just made. Now let's add a new route file, we will call it about, and we will generate boilerplates, react component using CRF. And you can assess this route by going to slash about. As I said in the first tutorials, Remix uses file-based routing. Now let's try something else. Create a new route file with underscores public dot pricing. Generate the boilerplate code. The route we just created can be accessed by using slash pricing. Yes, you must be confused now. Just keep in mind that whatever text closer to the underscore is ignored. You may choose to do this simply identify your files. I'll leave a link below leading to the documentation of this route conversation.
Let's continue. Remix action. I'll use a boilerplate code for the action component. The action function should be asynchronous. To test the functionality of the action function, let's use a form. Remix comes with a build-in form component, but we'll use the default HTML form for now. I'll talk more about it in the future. Let's create a couple of input elements for username and password. Let me show you the extension I use for the Remix boilerplate. It's called Remix Run Snippets. Go ahead and install it and you'll be able to use it. The action function gives us access to a request parameter and we can access any form data by calling the form data function on the request parameter. To get individual data, you'll assign each to a variable, and we'll use form data.get, and you pass in the input name in the get function. In our case, we'll get the username and password. Let's just log the results form the form for now. And before I forget, the form should have a method of post. I believe you know about form methods. We can now test the form and action function. Let's head over to the browser and go to slash about. Oh yeah, forgot about the button for the form. How else are we going to submit the form? Let's make that change and try again. I'll enter any values in the input fields and submit the form. Form submitted. Let's head to VS Code Terminal to see the results. Viola, this is it. Remix action functions run on the server, not in the browser. You can write all your logic for performing an action there. Let's talk about one more thing before we end this video. Use Action Data Hook. The Use Action Data Hook in Remix.run provides an easy way to access and use action data in a component. This can be useful for a variety of tasks, such as prefetching data, displaying data, and validating data. To use the use action data hook, simply import it and call the hook in your main function. The hook will return an object containing the data from the action, or null, if the action has not yet been run. Let's return the data we retrieved from the form, username, and password. Thank you.
Let's see the hook in action. Fill the form and submit. When you check the terminal, this is the logging we did above. We will end this tutorial here. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and tips.